Hey everyone. Well, I finally got around to putting flats on the um, Sterling Stingray short scale. And um, that was the easy part. Tough part was getting a video together. Not this one you're watching, but uh, I have a whole nother video that I put together uh, that's really nice. I recorded the uh, bass with the round wounds and then I did it with the flats and then I edited it so you could hear, you know, rounds, flats, rounds, flats. Edited it all together and for the life of me, I cannot get it to upload to YouTube. I have no idea why. I Googled it six ways from Sunday and I can't, can't figure it out. So I thought I would try to put this video together, which is just a straight shot, you know, not much editing except for, you know, cutting stuff off in the beginning and the, and the end, that kind of thing. Um, but um, why don't I just uh, start by playing a little something. Oh, I do have a very interesting observation between these flats and some flats I have on my jazz bass. Uh, I'll get, tell you about all the strings and everything in a little bit, but um, uh, here you can just hear a little bit of this. So this is just some open string. So hopefully that helps out a little bit in, in hearing it. Um, I'm not sophisticated enough to be able to play like a song in a mix and let you hear it and all that stuff. Someday I will, but um, I will tell you this listening to them side by side because i would i'd just play like open e string four times and then and then again one with rounds one with flats um it was very hard to hear the difference the only thing i can figure from any of the research i've done online is that these tend to sound relatively bright when they first start out and and the question is do they uh dull or mellow i should say uh, over time who knows i'm not sure i understand why they would uh, certainly not from a um you know, like uh, finger oils and that kind of thing standpoint because they're flat. But um, the kind of strings that were on here when I bought it, they're the Ernie Ball Regular Slinky Short Scale Bass, part number 2852. So that's what was on here. That's what's in the other video. These are the Labella Deep Talking Bass um, Short Scale. Uh, they are... Um, gauged 45 65 85 and 105 and that's uh the exact same as the ernie balls that were on there in fact here i'll show you this so you can see exactly what you're hearing um so oh my interesting thing i wanted to tell you uh here let me grab a pick so i take these out of the um the package and I'm and I feel them and it's like holy crap, they feel like glass, like like a solid piece of steel or something. I mean they're obviously not they're wound. You can you know if you look down here at the at the um, the bridge or you even you touch it and once you break it over the bridge you can feel the you know the stuff opening up because you're bending it. But these are as smooth as can be. Um, I have a jazz bass here, and it has Thomas Dick Infeld uh, jazz flats on it, and while they are perfectly uh, smooth and comfortable they're not as smooth as is probably the the best word I can use to describe they're not as smooth as, as these uh, in fact here let me um, I got the stupid hoodie on but let me take this off I'm gonna try and uh, hang on uh, I should have thought about all this beforehand what I want to do is um you can hear this, I tried this. So I'm just gonna take a pick and just run up and down so you can kind of hear what noise it makes on the E string. Okay, now let me switch this out to the jazz.
Yeah, we'll hold the same position. Now listen to this. So you can hear, you can definitely hear the little the little bumps. Um, and you can feel it. You can, I mean, you can definitely feel the difference. Um, but uh, this one is, I mean, I like them on here. They're perfectly fat, flat. Um, you can you can feel, you know, the transition as it goes up. You know, every little you can feel that. Whereas when you do it on on the um, the deep talking uh, labellas, man, that is smooth as silk. I mean, it is amazing. So that's something for you to think about. Um, I, I've never tried any other flats, so I don't know what other brands and, and how they feel, if they're more like this or more like that, but those are like glass. That Those are amazing. So um, anyways, I can't think of anything else. Um, if anybody has any questions, don't ha hesitate to leave it in the uh, comments, and I will try and answer them. And uh, other than that, Thanks for uh, watching and um, we'll see you next time.